This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I didn't breathe. George Floyd. Uh, I'm going to in Washington, D.C. We're going to do something that uh, people have to see before. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Buy a man for a man. Because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Right? Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough on his life. and boldly. Stupid. And what about the bombing? Are you concerned that there's more bombing, that there'll be more civilians killed? Um, that's always a concern with like any type of like military action. Like no one wants to see that, but I think like the threat is real, like you gotta take necessary action and do whatever like you can in your power to limit civilian deaths, but you can't let that stop like any military action at all. Yeah. What about the refugees? Do you think America's doing their job now with uh, the refugee crisis and, and what can we do? Um I think the refugee crisis like really is an issue. I feel bad for all the refugees, but I don't think it's smart to just like let anybody in without like any background checks or like I mean like you feel for the families, but I don't think it's smart to just let these people cuz you never know. Of course they're going to say they're like they're fine, but you look at like Europe, you look at Germany, they let in the refugees. Look how that's going. It's going horribly. Sweden horrible rape percentage is like way up. Brussels, the attack, they thought everything was fine. They let the refugees in. So I, I, don't, I just say no refugees as of now. Let's solve the problem in the Middle East first, and then we can decide what we do with them. Do you mind telling me if you're on, coming from the rural side or the city side? I'm more the city. I'm more the city. Uh, but, I mean, I know lots of friends from coming to college in all these different areas, and I've learned a lot from multiple. And some people don't learn. They just stay in their own little areas, and they don't go outside these areas and learn. And I mean, if you do that, we get stuck in the box, and then we start hating each other, and then all the problems like overwhelm, and then we're stuck with a situation like this. So I mean, it's important that both supporters of Trump and people who do not like him come out here and talk about these things. Are there any specific issues you'd like to hear him talk about today? Uh, definitely foreign policy. I've heard a lot about, you know, things about this happening in America, but nothing about things that are happening across the world. We have a lot of third world nations that are like, have a lot, a lot of serious issues that we don't think that are issues now, but as that gets worse, it's going to come back on us like hell. Well, can I say that? <laughs> No, he's not. He's going to look out for number one, Donald Trump, and there is no number two to him. Although he is number two to me. Poop. <laughs> what are your uh, biggest issues with him? With him? Uh, his personality. Uh, his policies, really. I think he's a misogynist. He's a racist. He's a homophobe. I don't think he represents America. I think he represents white males pretty well, but he doesn't represent the whole of America. Uh, tonight, we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody, and especially to our friends in the business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.